Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is about this Dendrobium Nobly hybrid called Dendrobium Red Emperor Prince, and it's just opened up for me. This was growing out on my patio, and it uh, shot out two flowers, four flowers uh, for me. I noticed them uh, opening up the other day, so I brought it inside. It's the middle to late part of the summer now, so <clears throat> I don't usually expect my Dendrobium nobly hybrids to be flowering this time of year, but it's always nice when they do. This one has a really rich purple color that's nicely contrasted with this golden yellow lip with the dark spot inside. It's really hard to see you know, the real coloring on the camera, so I'm trying to have it here near the daylight where you can see it, but it's a very beautiful color. This is a very um, kind of tall plant. It's about two feet tall. And this is the new growth that came out this summer. Actually, it shot out two new growths. So this one came out, and so did this one, but this one, when I put it out in the spring, got some... Uh, water in the tip and see how the it didn't grow because it rotted away so that's one thing sometimes you have to protect the new growths when it's uh still very cold outside and i put it out and it got it wet when it was still pretty cold and it actually killed the new growth so anyway but it shot out this nice other new growth right after so these are the two that came out this year but you can see these are the ones that grew out in the previous years the leaves are very light right now because it was in pretty much full sun but when you leave it out in the fall and uh, take it out of the sun they darken up again these are growths that uh, bloomed for me in the past so you can see all the old flower spikes so they were covered in flowers all of these old growths this one's looking like it's starting to die back but um, this is why you don't, you know, co cut these off too soon because uh, it'll shoot out flowers on uh, nodes that haven't bloomed before. So it has a very sweet smell. It'll fill up a room quite easily when uh, it's starting to bloom. So when the days are getting warm and the sun is shining in the room, it will smell really, really nice. And when you have a whole cane covered with these blooms, it's quite, quite pretty. And it smells amazing. Anyway, I grew this plant outside on my patio in the spring, summer, and fall. And bring it in for a few months over the winter and just grow it under lights in a cool room. It likes full sun, lots of air. And... Um, I let it dry out in between waterings. So this one is growing in this weird dirt mixture. That's just how I bought it. So I never repotted it. I don't tend to transplant or repot my Dendrobium nobly hybrids very often because they stay nice and compact. And as you can see, they just grow one growth over the other. And there's no point. The more they are nice when they you let them get to be these big plants. And every time you transplant them or replant them they lose a lot of their roots and takes them a bit of time to recover so I don't like to repot them too too much but what I do do is let them really really dry out in between waterings in the winter they need a nice cool dry rest when that's when they start to form their flower buds so this one I let it really dry out over the winter I don't water it very often and I just let it be and then in the spring I stick it outside and then it starts to get a little bit more water and it it should uh, start to form flower buds if you do everything properly but a lot of the newer hybrids if you've seen some of my other videos you don't have to do much with them just the change in temperature is enough to get them to throw out flower spikes and bloom. Anyway, this is Dendrobium nobly Red Emperor Prince. Beautiful Dendrobium nobly hybrid. Thanks for watching.